Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Mindful SMP server. Crunky here, we're now on episode 17 of this multiplayer adventure, and we are in the nether next to our portal. And the time has come that we're actually going to work on our portal, portal room, and I'm quite excited about this. You know, I've been preparing for this for quite a while. If you can take a look in here, we have all the blocks that we're going to be needing. I think it's all the blocks we're going to be needing, I'm not sure. But, uh... Yeah, I think we should get started by clearing all these temporary blocks. It's uh, this is gonna be a quick job. So, one thing that you know I've noticed about the SMP server so far is not a whole lot of people have worked that much in Nether. I mean, we have another hub over there, or over there somewhere, and everyone's starting to work on their bases, but no one's really done a proper Nether room. So, I'm hoping that you know this will be a nice server first. And maybe people take a look at it and, you know, inspire people to start working on their nether portals, nether portal rooms. But yeah, I've, I've been excited about this. I've been working on some designs in uh, Creative and I've, I think I've fallen on one that really just works with my base. Um, when you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about, but it, it really, once they walk into the door and they see my nether room, they'll know that it's my base, basically. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think there's a whole lot of stuff to discuss about it. I think I should just go ahead and finish clearing this out and start working on the actual room. So right off the bat, we're gonna go straight into a time lapse because, well, yeah, it it's just watch the time lapse.
And there we have it. We've built out the portal room. And the clouds didn't come out exactly like I planned, but I think it's all right. But I, I love this. This is pretty much the view of my from my base of the two mountains, the mountains on the side, the island over here and the island over there. There's one thing that I do need to do though, and this place is a little dark, so we're gonna grab our sea lanterns and I think I'm gonna place them every couple blocks. I think the other one was gonna go right here. Drop this in the middle, two blocks. Right here. Right here. No. Right here. Right here. Right here. Here. And here. So we'll just go ahead and drop in the sea lanterns here. And that is our portal room. I really like it. I mean, you can probably tell from my last episode that I was pretty excited to get working on this. But yeah, I mean, I'm really liking it. Uh, it's basically my base with the surrounding areas and some clouds above. One thing I do want to fix though is I feel this portal is a little bit low. So I'm just going to go ahead, grab that. And we're going to go up a little bit. I need to go grab my obsidian. Let's clear this out. And I'm thinking it should go up two more. So one, two, one, two, get a top on that. And let's head back down. And yeah, I like that a lot better. Do I have my torch with, or not torch? I don't have any flint and steel. Hmm. Anyways, what do you guys think? I, I really like how it came out. You should let me know in the comments what you guys think and if there's anything you would change about it, but I'm telling you, I, I like it as it is. And like I said in my other episodes, this will actually go down as if it were going into like the bottom, like the void. So it's all black. It looks like it just drops down and I like it. That's all I have to say about it. I like it a lot. I'm going to go get some flint and steel, light this back up, and then we'll get on with the episode. Back at the base now, and I'm like taking a look at the underside of this base. And first off, I noticed that I missed a few blocks over there, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in. But besides that, I never really took a look at this part of the base from underneath. I really like how that turned out. I was actually planning on putting gray blocks on the underside so you, you don't see any white. But I actually like this. It looks pretty good. So I'm actually going to leave this how it is. And yeah, we're nothing to do here. I'm a little bit lost because that time lapse took a lot more time than I was expecting. And that doesn't leave me with a whole lot of time to work on anything else. So I don't know what to do. I was thinking maybe I could do a tour of the town. But with everyone kind of starting to spread out, it's kind of pointless. I was going to do some maintenance in here, like filling in this with, uh, filling this in with gray concrete. But like I said, I kind of like how it looks from the underside. And we're going to be having a little, a little pod right here, something like this, in which we can drop down from our portal and maybe take like a minecart elevator down to the bottom where we'll have our mine and as I've said many of times, you know, I'm going to clear all this out. This is one thing that I kind of wanted to start on today, but again, I don't have enough time to really start this and finish it. And I don't want to end this right in the middle or bore you with two time lapses, completely unrelated time lapses. So we're going to leave that for now. I think I can clear this though. But that's going to be about the extent of my um, maintenance for this area anyways. So yeah, let me find something to do and I'll be back in a little bit. We're back at Spawn Town and there's these cute little snowmen walking around. Rudolph the Redstone Nut. I think they're all named the same. But 
I assume that this is just so that snow is placed all over the town. Which, you know, it, it looks great. Like, I like how there's snow everywhere. Because we have torches everywhere, the snow kind of melts as soon as it gets placed down. So we have pat. You can see all these patches. So I think these snowmen were an attempt to make it a little less patchy. I saw stock putting some down earlier today. So I assume that they're going to be putting quite a few around town. And I already see at least, at least 10 just in my direct sight at the moment. I'm sure there's many, many more. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I've decided what I'm going to do with the rest of the episode. And as you can see with this sign right here, this is the port or the nether hub to the ice spikes. And this is actually the biome that I discovered. Um, I set up a portal and someone else was so gracious enough to put down all these packed ice so that we have a quick way to get there. But since today's episode is all about working on another portal, I feel that it makes sense that we put down some packed ice so that people can travel to our portal room a little bit quicker. And so I did stop by my base. I grabbed my Silk Touch pickaxe, and now we're heading to the Ice Spikes biome, which we should get there shortly. And then we'll get ourselves some Ice Spikes, lay them down at the portal room, and we should be ready to accept people quickly. So I'll see you guys in the Ice, spi ice Spikes biome. We're here, and this place has been surprisingly untouched. I mean, the portal is actually right here. And there are all these ice spikes just sitting around, so I'm happy with that. You know, it's easy access for me. So I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of ice spikes. I'll try to fill my inventory, and then we'll head back to the nether portal room and start filling in the entrance area with some packed ice. I'll see you guys in a little bit. That over there is the community nether hub, and this is our tunnel. As you can see, we've cleared out all of the ground and all of the walls. We still have to clear out all the ceiling, but for now, we're only gonna be filling in the floors because, well, the reason I'm here is to fill this in with packed ice. And as you can see, we got plenty of it. That's all thanks to the uh, ice spikes biome that we have set up. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't wanna see me place all of these. So I'm gonna place all of these and I'll see you guys back in my base. So as promised, we're back at the base. I did not realize how long that tunnel actually was. This used up pretty much half of our entire inventory, maybe even a little bit more of the packed ice that we had. But that's all good because that's pretty much all we need it for at the moment. But yeah, I think today was pretty good. I mean, we worked on the, the nether portal room and we had a really long time lapse, but I think it, it came out pretty well. And you know, I was excited to work on that, that another portal room and I'm glad it got finished. I hope you guys liked it as much as I did, you know, and if you did, you should, uh, head down there in the comments. Let me know what you thought. You should also, um, head down there, hit the like button. If you did like the another portal room, if you like this episode, if you like me, just, you know, in any case, just go ahead and go down there and hit that like button. Cause it really helps out. Also, if you haven't subscribed, take this time now to go down there, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notifications of all my next uploads. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. See ya.